Hello everyone welcome back today i am genuinely excited when 2.2 is finally released and i just had to test it when i ran the first image to video generation using the fp16 version it took nearly 40 minutes to finish and that was quite painful but after a few tweaks to the workflow i managed to bring that time down to just 1 minute that's a big difference right and the results pretty amazing in this video i'll walk you through a side by side comparison of three models the 14b fp16 14b fp8 and the brand new van 2.2 i to v 5 b i used the exact same prompt across all of them and the differences in speed quality and details were honestly surprising so let's talk about the files you'll need to run this workflow for the text encoder you'll use the same umt5 double excel file from the older workflow no changes required and for the vae you can use the same one from before or try the new, new van 2.2 vae just drop it into your configuize models vae folder now let's get into the main model files which go into the diffusion model folder So here is where it gets interesting. For the first time, when 2.2 uses a mixture of exports (MOE) system with two versions. First is high noise, and second is low noise. So at first glance, this might be little confusing, but here is the idea. If you are generating a twenty-step video, the first ten steps use the high noise model to form structure and movement. Then, step eleven to twenty use the low noise model to add sharp texture and fine details. So there is a compact model called. when 2.2 ti2v 5b fp16 safe tensors only 10 gb and supports both text to video and image to video so if you are running on 4 gb or 6 gb vram this is your best bet now let's test the ti2v hybrid version of the workflow so creating of workflow from scratch can take a lot of time trust me i have spent hours just connecting nodes and debugging weird issues that's exactly why i put together a free download to save you time just head over to aistudynow.com every post has a free workflow download section All you need to do is enter your email address. You'll receive a verification email in your inbox. I know it can be a little frustrating, but it's only once. Once you verify, you won't have to do it again. And from that point on, you'll be able to download any workflow instantly. whenever you visit aistudynow.com and if you don't receive the verification email feel free to reach out to us i'll be happy to verify your email manually and here is the best part if you don't want to connect with us you can unsubscribe anytime just one click first update your configui This one is great for users with lower VRAM. So you only need one model file when 
TI2V 5B FP16 safe tensors. And for the text encoder, I am using UTM5 FP8. And for the VAE, I selected VAN 2.2 VAE. And I also disabled the LoRa section just to test the raw output first. I set the resolution to 1280 by 704 and ran the workflow to 20 steps with a CFG of 5. And finally the result is here and as you can see the result time is 1 minute 26 seconds. And output quality visually clean but something felt off. The windshield wiper wasn't moving. The animation looked great, but not realistic. And that's when I thought, what if I used the LoRa to improve the motion? So I added Buca V1, which includes VTA for smoother animation. Same prompt, same settings. 20 steps, CFG5, and it finished in 1 minute 24 seconds but the difference it's great the rain and motion looked much more natural a noticeable upgrade so if you are limited to the 10 gb model because of the low vram using puka v1 is a solid way to improve realism without adding extra load what is now here is the challenge the question arises can we get similar results 50 percent of the time okay. and to test that i selected the light x 2 v 14 v lora and then i dropped steps from 20 to 6 cfg from 5 to 1 and here we have got the result the result came out in just 13 seconds super fast but the quality was bad actually no details not realistic so I tested again and I increased the steps to 10 and it made a huge difference now it took just 21 seconds and the video had way more details then i pushed it back 20 steps again with this lora and it finished in 43 seconds this time the road reflections and motion looked very realistic So many of you have had a thought and so did I, what if we try text to video? And here is the answer. You can easily do that with the same workflow. Just bypass the image to video group, enter your text prompt in the text encoder and run it. Example, I used the prompt, a soldier moves forward across a battlefield even using the 10 gb model the result was solid smooth motion good structure and very usable output in this part of the video i am testing the workflow that uses both high noise and low noise model together inside the load models group I added a T cache node. So here you will need to load two models the high noise version first, then the low noise version. And for the VA, use the older VAN 2.1 VA. I tried using the VAN 2.2 VA and ran into errors. So trust me, stick with 2.1 here. And here is how. It works. The high noise model runs through the first K sampler, 
handling structure and motion first 10 steps of a 20 step setup then the low noise model takes over in the second case sampler running the next 10 steps and refining texture sharpness and details this switch happens automatically using the mixture of experts MOE architecture so essentially you are splitting the 20 steps in half 10 steps with the high noise model and 10 steps with the low noise model to finish the generation cleanly so after the first sampler finishes you need to clear VRAM before loading the second model if not you might hit memory errors and that's why I added a clear cache node between the samplers and for this first test I disabled both the T cache and the LoRa section to get a clean baseline using the same car image and prompt I ran the workflow with FP1614 b I2V model on a 5090 GPU with 32 GB VRAM. After the first 10 steps were completed, using the high noise model, it took around 13 minutes and as expected, the output still looked quite noisy. But that phase is all about generating structure and motion. Then the second case sampler picked up using the low noise model, running the remaining 10 steps to refine texture and sharpness. And the final result looked stunning. Realistic rain, smooth road reflections and even subtle details like the car, wiper moving accurately but there is a downside the total generation time was around 27 minutes even with 32 gb of vram so i began started so i started experimenting first i lowered the resolution to 720 by 480 and surprisingly the render time dropped to just 5 minutes and 50 seconds with almost no visible loss in quality and that's a huge time saving. Then I wondered what if I switch from the FP16 model to FP8 version. Running the same setup with FP8 took about 5 minutes and 20 seconds slightly faster and when I looked at the output side by side I honestly couldn't see a big difference at least to the naked eyes. Now it's time to test the light X2V 14V LoRa. I adjusted the workflow to run just 4 steps instead of 20 with a CFG of 1. The first key sampler runs for the first two steps and the second key sampler continues from step 2 to 4. And when I hit run, the entire process finished in just 40 seconds. And the output? He Honestly, it looked fantastic. Even when I compared it side by side, with all the other versions, the 40 second result actually looked better to the naked eye. Still, I was curious how far I could push it. So I increased the steps to 20 using the same LoRa. This version took just 3 minutes and enhanced the details even more. But here is the funny part. When I showed all versions to a friend and asked which looked more realistic, he picked the 40 second one. 
he said the 20 step version looked too perfect almost unreal while the quick render felt more natural and believable so we cut time from 27 minute to 40 seconds so let's try to cut more using tcash if you are so you must understand this if your width is 480 select model i2v 480p and if you select resolution 1280 by 704 select 720p model and here in my first test the result took over a minute to generate and honestly the output wasn't great but i think this is something that will improve in future updates of uh, tcash dot and for now if you are running into issues you can simply bypass that section and still get good solid results now let's move on to the text to video workflow first make sure you have selected the correct model you'll need both the d2v high noise and low noise models for this test i used the prompt a woman dancing in a realistic setting and the result was seriously impressive it looked natural fluid and honestly no one would guess it was ai generated just by looking at it next i wanted to push the limits so i tested a close up shot the prompt was a young woman smiling and again the realism blew me away then i tested it with lora and used just four steps the output looked good but surprisingly the non lora version looked even more realistic so i adjusted the lora strength from 2.5 down to 1 and that small tweak made a huge difference in naturalness and the best part even with all these tests generation was nearly instant just a few seconds per video you can really play with this workflow and get amazing results fast especially with lower steps and smart lora use and to wrap things up i went one step further and tested the workflow at a higher resolution 1280 by 704 just to see if it made a noticeable difference in quality so i have got three side by side results and i'll let you decide which one looks best honestly the differences are subtle but if you are aiming for more realism or higher details this test is worth trying so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something useful or at least got inspired to experiment more with ven 2.2 and comfy ui and if you are enjoying this kind of content don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what you would like to see next Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.